So this is Math 142, uh, practice test number one, and this is problem number 10. So um, we are trying to solve this triangle. We're trying to find all the values that make it, uh, make it true. So I think that what I'll do is I'll start to label some sides and stuff just so I have something to talk about. A, and that makes that C. And those are, I just put those arbitrary, but the, the lowercase a is always opposite the, the capital A and so on. So let me try and figure out this A first. Um, so I know these, this angle, this is opposite side, this is adjacent side, so that would be tangent. So I know that tangent of 62 degrees is uh, opposite over adjacent. Uh, multiply both sides by 145.5, get it out of that fraction. And um, A is, a, is that, and if I put that into my calculator, Let's see, I get 273, we're we supposed to round out two decimal places, 0.65. So it looks to me then like this side A is about um, 273.65. And then the next thing then that I'll do is, um, oh, you know what, I can find this angle, that's pretty easy. I know that these should add up to 180, 90 is already gone. So 62 plus this should be 90. So if I go uh, 90 minus 62, I get 28. So this must be 28 degrees, this angle B. And the last thing I'm going to do is find this side C. And I'll do it using those two original pieces of, inf of information that were given to me again. So this is hypotenuse. This is uh, adjacent. So that should be uh, cosine. So I know that the um, cosine of 62 degrees would be cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So 145.5 divided by C. If I want to solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides by C to get it out of that denominator. And then I'm going to divide both sides by that cos of 62 degrees. I'll do that in just a second. So that's C multiplied by cos of 62 degrees equals 145.5. Um, I want to get C all alone, so I'm going to divide by that number. I'm dividing both sides by it. And that's actually exactly equal to C, but now, because um, that cancels out. But now if I do this on my calculator, let's see, 145.5 divided by cosine of 62 degrees should still be in um, degrees because I didn't change my calculator. That makes C about, 309.92. So this side length then is about 309.92, and that triangle is solved. Now, if I had gone a different route to get this number, for example, if I had used like um, Pythagorean theorem or something like that, my I might be off a little bit. Like my numbers might be off a little bit. 